Got a special one for you today. This is John's single speed hunter frame. He's had this one for a minute. He used to have gears on it back in the day. It's Hunter, made here in the Bay Area with the signature wishbone rear end. He's got all the bits and bobs on here. Stock with the frame pump. This is a uh, stainless steel downhill no thread set. One inch. Super weird headset. Very strange stem from a California frame builder. Looks like some Envy 40 mil rise, 800 mil wide flat bars got cable brakes the sun tours he rocks ODIs on every single bike he owns pretty much look at the housing here pretty sweet the eight ball stem cap the mash um, focus ring headset <laughs> and aperture here cool little front brake cable stop got the Paul I believe these are the mini motos I might be wrong I don't fucking know the anodized Little wishbone dude. <clears throat> and in the back, same, same brakes. No, these are different ones back here. He's got the rigid cables here. These things are sick. The super long cable <laughs> rotor cranks time pedals of course the old school ones rocks a flight on every single bike of course and this is a simworks seat post with a height right so the ways these work is when you're ready to descend you loosen the quick release, push down, lock the quick release, and there you go. You have a, your seat post dropped, and when you need to get it back into position, loosen it, boop, it's back into position. Old school dropper called the height rate. He's running a white industry Eno hub back here to make this thing single speed with a white industry freewheel. I don't know the gearing, this looks like a maybe an 18 or a 19. 18 in the back and uh, 36 up front. And the front is a cool one off. Paul anodized hub. I think these were made by MASH here in San Francisco, re-anodized. And uh, these are laced to Open Pros, the wavy ones. And on the front, he's got the Hurricane Ridge 42C um, by 700 Rene Hurst. And on the back is a 40C nano WTB he probably would have put a 42 on here if there was room <laughs> but it doesn't look like there's room in there and that's the bike a really cool one um, probably won't see one like this around anywhere I didn't mention the fork though one more, one more thing about the craftsmanship on the fork. This is a hunter fork. 
really cool looking. Not the lightest weight, but probably pretty bomb proof and uh, very unique.